Hi, today's video is an exciting one as we want to tell you all about the latest updates for Microsoft Teams. We have five updates to go through for May 2022, so let's take a look at our first update, sharing audio while presenting. So if you're doing a webinar or something similar and you have a video to present, your audience are now able to hear this through Teams meetings. And here is how. As we go into the sharing content section in our meeting, there is a toggle that says include computer sound. Once you have chosen the window or screen you want to present, your audience will now be able to hear the video being played. Our second update is the new loop components. This update is super exciting as you can now use loop components such as tables, lists, task lists, etc. in your team strats. As you can see here, we just want to go to the loops icon at the bottom of the chat and it shows our list of loop options. We are going to show you how to create a task list. So if you and this person are working on a specific project, you can assign tasks and dates to one another and work together to complete and edit the task list in real time. This works with all loop components. The other person in the chat has the ability to edit the component in real time. Our next update is workflows via Power Automate. This allows us to keep on top and track things that need to be done through different actions. For example, if we go to into the ellipsis of a message that we need to come back to, we can create an action. For example, here we can schedule a meeting from the message, set the time and date and add all the details for the meeting in there as well. Or another example here is following, following up on a message. We can use this workflow to send us a reminder to follow up on a message at a relevant time and date for you. This allows you to keep on top of your tasks and is a super useful productivity tool. The fourth update we want to show you is Power Apps through Lists and Teams. So this update allows us to now create Power Apps using Microsoft Lists from inside of Teams. Power Apps are essentially low-coded ways of building mobile-friendly apps that you can use within your organisation. With this update, we'll be able to build a Power App based on data within Microsoft Lists and add it as a tab in a Teams channel. Anyone who has access to the channel will be able to update this list. You can add in an existing list via a link or you can create your own brand new one. They have made it really easy by adding in plenty of different templates for all list types. For example, there we can see work progress tracker, content scheduler, or even an expense tracker, which we can customize to exactly how we want. And by adding this in, you and your team can collaborate on this in real time so that you're always up to date with each other. Once we have saved this, we can then create it into an app by going into the integrate heading in the header. Power apps, create app, and then choose a name and it's ready for everyone to collaborate with. Our last but not least update is video effects for Teams meetings. So we now have the option to create a soft focus effect on our video camera. To do this, all we need to do is go into the ellipses at the top, go into settings and then devices, and you will then be able to see underneath the camera section, there is a soft focus section where you can then decide how exactly you want the effect. That concludes our updates video for today, but don't forget to subscribe for more updates, tips and tricks.